When you think cringe, The Office or Curb Your Enthusiasm likely spring to mind, not Star Wars. But a moment in Andor has viewers' secondhand embarrassment alarms going wild. Spoilers for the first three episodes of Andor ahead. Andor is a completely different beast from the other Star Wars shows to come to Disney+. Unlike the other series thus far, Andor aims for a grittier, more street-level and more solemn look at the Star Wars universe, much in the same way as the movie Rogue One. This isn't exactly surprising, given that Andor serves as a prequel to that film, focusing on the title character Cassian Andor. As any true Star Wars fan knows, Cassian ends up dying at the end of Rogue One, along with all the other main characters after they've successfully stolen the plans for the Death Star. Given the darker tone of the film that inspired it and the return of Rogue One co-writer Tony Gilroy as the developer of Andor, it's really no wonder that the new series leans into a narrative heaviness that hasn't been quite as prevalent in previous Disney Plus series. However, despite that seriousness, the show also might feature one of the most cringe-inducing scenes in the entire Star Wars universe in its second episode. Of course, it's not like cringe is new to Star Wars, but this one is on purpose meant to make everyone in the audience feel some second-hand embarrassment. It's a revealing moment for one of the main players in this particular saga, but that doesn't make it any easier to watch. Deputy Inspector Cyril Karn is dead set on finding Cassian Andor and bringing him to justice for killing two guards on the planet Morlana 1. Eventually, he gathers a squad of Prelox Morlana corporate authority officers to track down Andor. He's encouraged to give a speech to the troops to rally them, but his attempt doesn't exactly go well. There's no room for doubt on the path to success. There are a few reasons why the writers likely decided to go in this direction with Cyril and include such a painfully embarrassing scene. In the next episode, Cassian and Luthen Rail manage to outmaneuver Cyril and his soldiers in a show of battle superiority. So perhaps it's meant to illustrate his lack of experience. There is perhaps an even deeper meaning behind the scene that ties in with Cyril's ambitions and how they're at odds with his actual abilities. In an interview with Total Film, Kyle Soller, who plays Cyril, revealed quite a bit about his character. He said, He has an extreme sense of need to impress and fill a hole in himself, and so that really is about ascending to the top of whatever field he's in. The field he's chosen is one of restriction and complete control, and one of domination. Exactly what that metaphorical hole that he's trying to fill really is will likely become more clear as Andor progresses, but with the added context of Soller's interview and what fans have seen of him throughout the first three episodes, his disastrous speech reveals quite a bit. Obviously, he wants to impress his soldiers, but lacks the experience, proper words or charm or battle prowess to do so. Best of luck to us all. This also makes him a nice foil for Cassian, who is more personable and relatable in his interactions with the other characters. So while Cyril's speech may be a hard scene to watch and arguably a top cringe moment in all of Star Wars, it's also pivotal in showing viewers who Cyril really is. 